Hey guys, today's video is going to be about a water heater. No, we don't work on those very often, but I was asked to go take a look at this. And what I found, I just could not believe that somebody would leave it like that. So this one was dangerous. Here it goes. All right, I came out to this address to um, get somebody's hot water going. The previous company that came out charged them $180 to get the gas turned on. And they would not even look at the hot water heater. But maybe it's a good thing they didn't turn it on. Look what I found. This had FSK tape around it. That's not a good connection in any way, shape, or form. That pipe right there is not coming down any further. I'm gonna have to get them some three inch pipe before I can hook this up. Yeah, let me get in touch with their rental company and that double wall right there. You can slide single wall up in there, but it's got to fit in. And I like to put screws in it. And yeah, that 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 just ain't gonna work. As much as I want to get them hot water right now, I can't. I'm going to need a piece of three inch pipe. There's no way it could have fit up in there because that thing is so severely boogered. This was just sitting on top of that elbow. So I'm going to cut this and we're going to put a piece of three inch in there. In Georgia, we can use, in Georgia, we can use single wall. It just cannot penetrate a ceiling or a roof or any wall. So a short little piece right here is perfectly okay here. I'm gonna start with six inches. All right, I got my my piece cut. This is snap lock type, and I was expecting more of a more of a struggle with that. I've tried to put together big pieces of that three inch or four inch like for a dryer vent and it can fight you the whole way so i'm thankful that was that went together kind of easy all right that may be too much but we're fixing to see if we can put this together if you're trying to put double wall on something like this 
it's nearly impossible to secure it. If you look in that, the inner wall in that is tight. So I'm fixing to screw all, all that in place and we're going to get them some hot water. Now I gotta, I was gonna show you better. You see how that inside wall is a nice tight fit? Before it wasn't even in the pipe, it was just sitting on top of it. is no good tape to put over the double wall part this as long as that's secure I'm happy with that see if we can get this thing to light on these you turn it to pilot you press in and then you hit the sparker and when you got a pilot that status light should start to blink all right what I'm about to show you if you're not an HVAC or plumbing professional do not try don't do it. I feel like I need to add a disclaimer. I was unable to get a pilot because no gas has been running to this for a little while. So I'm going to bleed this gas line. Still not hearing anything. Very little. I need to be able to hear something. so little out of that I'm gonna do this until I smell gas that's supposed to be clean 
<clears throat> All right, so this flare piece is supposed to make a clean connection with that flare piece. So I'm reaching in and getting some of that gunk off of it. I don't think. I mean, judging by that flue pipe and um, what I'm seeing here. That's why I got the soap bubbles. Make sure I get a tight seal. All right. I smelled gas just a little while ago. It's still bleeding a little bit of gas. I'm gonna check all these fittings. All right, let's put full gas pressure to it. Alright, now let's try to light the power. Let some gas flow through this to the pilot. I just heard it. We got a pilot. This light should start blinking. And when it does, I can let go. There we go. Alright. I can let go of the... I feel much safer with that flue pipe now. I've already checked outside and it looks good on the roof. This was installed recently. There's no expansion tank <laughs> in that flue pipe. That was just a horrible disaster waiting to happen. All right, I know some of y'all may not like the use of single wall like that, but when you're attaching to that top, the little flange on the water heater, it's hard to do that with double wall. So I prefer to at least have a little bit of single wall so I can attach. My day started at 6 o'clock this morning, and it's 6.30 now, so I'm ready to call it a day. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.